Well, it's my first college basketball video of the year, and I think I picked a pretty good game to talk about, folks, as uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks and Baylor Bears meet on Saturday night, 7.30 Eastern time. Game will be televised on ESPNU. Uh, I have the winning side in that game, and I have a little bit of an unorthodox approach on how I came to that conclusion, so stay tuned for my analysis and pick on that game. All right, so a uh, big day in college football today. I have uh, five winning picks up at Wager Talk and uh, started the college football week 11 in a successful manner. As uh, I didn't do anything during the week up until yesterday, and uh, I went 2-0 and to start the week in college football as I cashed in with the UCLA Bruins, uh, that won the game outright over Iowa as a six-point underdog. And I also had um, the Rice Owls plus eight and a half as they stayed inside the number in a seven-point loss against Memphis. So that improved my college football season record uh, to now once, or excuse me, my college football run to 117 and 81, which is 59%. That's going all the way back to uh, December 2nd of 2022, and that run has produced a, a, uh, a net profit of $8,127 at Wager Talk, and that's good for number one during that course of time in terms of money earned at uh, in college football at Wager Talk. So a uh, big day ahead, um, three big 4% top plays, best bets, in college football today, all in one package for just $29. All three games kick off at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. I have a live underdog um, to start the day at noon Eastern time. And also, I culminate the day with the winner in the LSU and Alabama game that goes tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, nationally televised. Uh, my college football 4% top plays, by the way, folks, 11 and 2 with my last 13 and my football college football NFL combined 4% best bets uh 44 and 22 run good for uh 67%. All right, um let's get to the meat and potatoes and that's the uh, game between the uh Baylor Bay Bears and the Arkansas Razorbacks and again this game is going to be played at a neutral site at the American Airlines Center in Dallas. Uh, so keep it, keep that in mind is really, um, I guess you could say Baylor playing in their home state, but uh, you know, Arkansas, not too far away in terms of proximity and, and the Arkansas Razorback fans always travel well as well. So it's truly a neutral site game. Baylor is coming off an embarrassing, I mean, horrific performance against Gonzaga in their season opener. Now, granted Gonzaga is a terrific team, and especially on their home floor, and that's where they played Baylor in that opener, and the Gonzaga Bulldogs just crushed Baylor 101-63. to Baylor was dominated in every facet of the game. It's not a shock that Gonzaga won. It's just the manner in which they did. Now, Arkansas, uh, under uh, first-year head coach John Calipari, first year at Arkansas, uh, Calipari made his debut as uh, Arkansas hosted Lipscomb, and uh, it's not like they were terrific in that game. As a matter of fact, they're pretty uninspiring. They did win seventy six to sixty. Uh, they're the more, they were the more talented team than Lipscomb, uh, but they did not cover as a sixteen and a half point favorite. They did uh, on a positive note. They forced nineteen turnovers, held Lipscomb to thirty seven point nine percent shooting and allowed them to only get four offensive rebounds. So uh, did a fine job there, but it's not something that really jumps off the page at me because you would expect a power conference team to do that to a mid-major. Um, they shot better. Uh, as a matter of fact, they shot 54% in that game, Arkansas, but it comes with a couple of caveats. They only got to the free throw line seven times. And uh, they were only four for 19 from the three-point line against Lipscomb. So, again, um, I'm really nitpicking here. And where I'm going with this is they're going to be facing, even though Baylor was blown out, a much tougher opponent in the Baylor Bears today than they faced in their season opener. Now, obviously, Arkansas uh, playing Lipscomb and, and Gonzaga, 
uh, was the opponent of Baylor in her season opener. The, the level of competition for both teams was drastically different. And, uh, you know, Baylor's coming off that horrible loss and Arkansas coming off a win and then having the stigma of John Calipari now being their head coach yet. Uh, the Baylor Bears opened at minus one and a half, and they're now four. So that line, real that line move, really speaks volumes to me. With all being considered, uh, so I'm going to go with Baylor here. I, I like the Baylor Bears in this spot minus the four over the Arkansas Razorbacks. That's Baylor minus four over Arkansas, folks. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. It costs you absolutely nothing. There's a subscribe button right underneath. Click on that, and you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. And also, folks, there's a like button. I would hope that you hit that like button just as a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put in. And it's uh, similar to giving a waiter or a waitress a tip other than the fact it doesn't cost you any money. So hit that like button, folks. Again, big day in college football coming up. NFL, I'll have three to five picks up. I already have one up. Uh, for tomorrow, and it's the total, uh, a total, so uh, it's a four-star total, and again, my football four-star picks, best bets, uh, 44 and 22, uh, 67% run. All right, until the next time, take care, and God bless, folks.